Ryan and Searle with the throw for Carlisle. Scott Dobie back to Searle. Now then, can he pick someone else? Yes, he can. Steve Finney scores. What a start to this second half. Good ball in from Searle, and Steve Finney gives Carlisle the lead. Dobie played his part. Searle with the cross. A good finish by Steve Finney. A great start to Carlisle. That sting the bees back into action. The bar should get. Oh no, he's gone in! What a disaster! This must be four or five seconds from the kick off the ball down the left touchline. Billy Barr, he's come off his shin. One bounce and Brentford a level. But the Carlisle skipper can't believe that. Steve Finney, the man given the responsibility to put Carlisle in front, and he does so. Steve Finney was brought down for the penalty. Justice has been done. Carlisle in front. Scott Barrett beaten. Great penalty from Steve Finney. Right foot, placing rather than power. It's Martin Ling with the corner for Orient. Header comes in, it's beaten out by Keg, but the follow-up from Watts and Orient to level. A free header, Keg does well, but look at all those Orient shirts there. And it's Steve Watts, the London side are back on level terms with 25 minutes remaining. What a crowded penalty area. And what scores. Carlisle travelled to mid-table Chester City on Saturday, hoping their yellow away strips would bring them the win they desperately need. A scrappy first half brought few chances for both sides. But in the second, United's luck began to change. Paul Botine was off and away down the right. His cross was kept out and rebounded to Richard Prokas, who found Billy Barr. His through ball was taken well by Stevens, who shook off the burly Chester defender. His first shot saved by keeper Cutler, but Steve hammered home the rebound. What a relief for the gold-starved striker to finally hit the back of the net. He'll be hoping to repeat this form at Brenton Park. Billy Barr holds up play and takes his time to find Stevens, who loses the defence and although his first shot is denied, he makes no mistake with the second. But Chester hit back with two inside 11 minutes. Nicky Richardson equalising with a tremendous volley, which looped over Tony Cage. At this stage, Carlisle would have settled for the point, but Matt Woods break down the right wing, set up John Murphy, who unmarked easily shot past Cake. Final score, Chester City 2, Carlisle United 1.